Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Queen's Wish. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as uh, we could, uh, fight some creatures. There's some leaping lizards around here. People are not very... They're complaining. Leap leaping lizards are complaining. People are not very happy that they are here because they bite, apparently. What is that? There is... Oh, nice critical. Oh, that's that's bad. Please, please don't do that. Why would you do that? Oh, evasion. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Okay. Another evasion. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. Two bacon's. Oh no, they came. Oh boy, that's bad. Okay, step back a little bit and take a little bit of damage, or do a little bit of damage. Uh, I can try that one. That didn't work. That was bad. And I can try another whirlwind. Only one bacon. And a block damage, so it didn't matter. Whew. Okay. Give me some... Oh, no. They didn't give me energy. You walk out into the main level of the quarry, where most of the good limestone is dug out and shaped. There are no workers down here now. There is, however, a profusion of lizards... A profusion? Hmm. Tr uh, lizard tracks, rather. And drying scales... The vol workers have been evicted by an infestation of pests. I did gain energy from that. There they are. They are all over the place. Are they very fast? I think they're very fast. I think that's the point of it, of them being leaping. leaping. Oh, yeah. Uh, we might die. Or, I mean, Terrence might die. Speaking of which, bad. Just really bad. Please don't do the, the bad. Okay, healing, please, on yourself. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see what I can do here. No, they're still going on our mage, or no, our healer, rather. Uh, our mage is actually in good condition here. I'll do... Icy Wave, maybe? Probably n not a great idea, considering that I did what I did just now. Instead of moving over there, I moved over here. Okay, only one evasion. That's not too shabby. Uh, we might be able to get a kill right now. We do. And I should have attacked the other one, most likely. Somebody coming from the east? Okay. Our energy is actually in very good condition. So, things are not going too badly. I am satisfied. Uh, there's a fire lizard. Okay, maybe I'm less satisfied than I made it seem at first. Oh, there's multiple of them. Okay. Have we fought these? Because I think I've fought one. Yep, definitely. We have. Um, the leaping lizards are the easy ones. But these don't leap. So, you know. Oh, they're coming. Oh, that was, that was bad. That was bad. Hmm. Switch. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess I'm using Haven's Might. Okay. And then we have our mage moving back. Getting some hits in there. Because we're all going to be very fast uh, now that we um, have Haven's Might. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Not too shabby. Oh, it didn't. It, it turned out it wasn't too bad. Uh, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to attack from here. Oh, you are. Okay, the game the game lied to me then. Okay, Heaven's Might didn't really need to, to be there. But uh, let's push on while we have it. Oh, dang it. Okay, not too bad. Hello. Ooh, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I uh, yes, that is uh, what is happening right now. That is what is happening. Okay. I will attack you first. Four of them getting hit. That's not too shabby. And fortunately, our tanks are the ones taking the damage, so really not too shabby at all. I'll attack you normally. Okay, that's shabby. Go away. Uh, then we have another mage. Or we have the mage again, I should say. It's the same mage. Uh, so I'll attack. I don't think the big... Oh, did I? Yeah, that was bad. Uh, I don't think the big lizard is attacking us right now. 
really nice. Get you out of the, get you out of the way. Get attacked again. Big lizard is moving, which is a bit intimidating. We're gonna do a whirlwind. Get a fair amount of damage actually. Okay. Yeah, this is going well. I don't think the great lizard is attacking. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> every time I say it, every time I say something about that, the lizard does something that makes me think it it is indeed attacking. Okay, now you have a whirlwind, hopefully killing three of them, indeed. And let's see what the lizard has for us. Oh, they're coming from the north, that's awful. Oh, that's a miss. What's that? Block damage, in your face. Uh, okay, uh, I'll figure you out in a little bit. Bloodletting immediately, okay, that's not too bad. Uh, let's move you over here. And do a critical for 32, that's not bad at all either. Uh, let's do that. Uh, 22, that's not very powerful. Seriously? You, you're you trying to get, king, to get my mage. What a jerk. Died because of it. I mean, not really. Died because I killed it. But, uh... <laughs> but still, it, it... What a jerk. So, healing wave, please. And uh, money and stone blocks. Don't need either of those, to be honest. Actually, the money I probably will... Lizard brood mother, uh, brood mother up there. Um, I probably will in uh, in the, the the games that I played before from uh, from Spiderweb. I never use the money basically because the uh, everything is so expensive that I'm like, mm, I'll spend it all now and then I won't have the things that I really really want later on in the game. So I basically wait until I see something really, really good. And if I do spend the money, it's only very late and usually the wrong decision anyway. So, it, yeah. In this game, however, uh, I do know what I want to spend my money on. Uh, and it's not that expensive. It's not It's not like the, the things are, are super expensive, the, the things that we can buy, like runes and whatnot. Okay, so that Broodmother is going to attack us good. Mm, with a dialogue screen. This lizard is far, far larger than any of the others you have found. She's also a caring and devoted mother. She is surrounded by large clutches of eggs, and she has adopted this quarry as the place to raise her brood. When she sees you, she hisses and lunges to a ford, eager to harvest meat for her babies. You note with a sinking feeling that some of the eggs around her are starting to vibrate. Yeah, and of course... Uh, Lizards are known to uh, be aggressive out of the egg. They they come out of the egg and they're like, I'm I'm gonna kill you. Why am I not? This is weird, isn't it? Haven's might, and we start combat. Okay, so the brood mother is immediately being mean. So I'll step back, start shooting her, uh, and uh, I'll just do this for the moment. Weakness. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, we're doing a fair amount of damage here. Critical, stun resisted, of course. As we well know. At least it, it dealt the critical, so that's very nice. Uh, I don't think the Broodmother is actually doing anything. We've gone around twice already. In our... Oh, attack. Casting Blessing and Hasted. Stun resisted. Cleave. It's... Yeah. It's a dangerous foe. Unfortunately for her, we were... Also hasted to begin with. A stunned! We did block the damage, but that is a shame. It's on Jeff. Uh, I think I'll be okay? Possibly not. I had to use my melee weapon, which is not very common of me. The Broodmother has been slain. The process of reclaiming this quarry can begin. Perhaps Haven can somehow get some of the stones produced here. You will need them to rebuild your forts. I will indeed, most likely. Please stop attacking me. Uh, who's that? Oh, you. Yeah, I haven't attacked with that weapon yet. With that melee weapon for the healer. Uh, the evasion, of course. Uh, so... Oh, no. Did the wrong switch. Yeah, this thing, what is it? Ahriel Shard. It doesn't sound. It makes like... As you heard. Okay. 
Pretty good. We have pile of wood that we don't need, silver coins, emerald ring for uh, bleed resistant, poison resist. Only 20%? Nah, it's, if you were 100%, I would like it, maybe. Probably not, though. Um, it's only for a quarter of my team, and uh, it's very rarely that I do get poisoned or ble bled, so yeah, probably wouldn't use it. I'd rather have physical resistance, even though it's so very little. Where are we? Oh, we didn't go this way. Oh, nice. Let's go that way. So they all connect, all the places connect down here. I, because I failed to, I failed to see that when I was going around. Uh, but we do have the leaping lizards up here, all over the place. So did we go in here? This door is held shut by a massive oak beam and an assortment of padlocks. You'll need the workers here to let you in. Yeah, the padlocks are not, they, what are they doing, the padlocks? <laughs> the padlocks are meant to, to keep a, a, sh a chain together, not beams. They're, they're padlocks. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I just attack normally, I think. I was I was maybe going to do some, uh, some mana. Not some mana, some um, AoE. Oh, that was tough. I didn't realize how, I, that was tough. I thought I was going to be able to go up there and hit that one as well, but I didn't. Okay, a little bit of damage. Nothing major. Getting a little bit of damage on the back line. Again, nothing major. Uh, step back. Pretty good. Things are holding together hit everybody from with that one which is incredible can't move oh the space is blocked there it is and killed both of them fantastic no don't go outside oh no i ruined it didn't i did i ruin it i mean there's no loot to be gained from the enemies but if the enemies respawn no, okay, so things are still the same. It's still the same state, I suppose, in, in the sense of the, the state of the, uh, of the, um, of the settlement and whatnot. I think, I think it is. I didn't check back here. Maybe there were some lizards back here and now they're not. Eh, it doesn't matter because I don't need to kill them. So in here, that's the other way in. And uh, over there is where they all live. And I need to talk to... What was her name? I don't remember. I do remember that I had maybe something over here. Go away. No? You're not gonna go away? Okay. Yeah, but it wasn't her. Who was it? Oh, Shala. There she is. Shala sits resting by the fire and sips at her ale. It's like nipping at her heels, but it's sipping at her hail. Anyway, working the quarry in his searing, in this searing heat is hard work. Yes, um, can you unlock the storeroom for me? I'm not sure. I've sent a runner to Governor Alistair Masha of Vitasa to ask what we're to do for you. Might take some time to get a response. In the meantime, if you want to keep busy smashing any of the lizards you see, we'd appreciate it. Yeah, I did that already. Well, it's our great luck that you came here. We need to, the good stone to earn enough to pay ourselves. Pay for yourselves? It's, or is this about the thing about how debt, then nonsense like that? I, th I don't know. Anyway, that is a sentence. We need the good stone to earn enough to pay ourselves. I've also had a message from Vitasa. The governor wanted us to know that when we're producing good stone again to send it to Fort West Bay. Looks like he really wants to impress you, fo you folks. Hmm. Well, I guess Fort West Bay is where I need to find where, where I need to go. Thanks. It's very nice because uh well, I think I did I, I chose the right thing coming here first. Well, I didn't choose it. It just happened that I came here first. Uh, 
So I can't go over there, right? It is a lie! You lied to me, video game! I cannot go over there! Oh, I can see it, though. <laughs> it did lie to me. Um, okay, so we need to find this fort. There's some lizards going about, and uh, there's a house over there that might be under the attack from the lizards. There are a few farms around the city of Murba, scratching out a meager existence on soil dampened by the nearby oasis. When they see you, the farmers retreat inside their homes and bar the doors. The war makes it too dangerous to do anything else. Am I wrong in saying that the oasis are really, really fertile? Like, no, they're not a meager existence. They would be freaking... They would, like, to the point of agriculture not being needed because you just the land is so fertile you just eat whatever the land gives and you don't need to choose and pick and, and plant and whatnot am i not am i seeing things wrong i didn't i never really studied the details of um of how uh uh well of how agriculture and human uh subsistence works around uh, oasis but I do have a, an inkling because, you know, the beginning of, um, you know, just civilization, I suppose, uh, is in the Fertile Crescent and it's mostly oases and lands like that. You are on the front line of the rebellion. To the northwest are the loyalists, led by the wealthy Masha. To the south are rebel lands, taken by the Owen. The ground here is scorched and torn up, wounded by many skirmishes in actual battles. Because skirmishes aren't actual battles. We're just throwing some shade at skirmishes. You are on the outskirts of Murva, a rough and dusty mining town. It is unpleasantly sil uh, sighted? Sighted, yes. Uh, on the border between the two forces. Its walls are scorched, and the guards surrounding it are tired and skittish. Murva is probably full of spies, rebels, and opportunities for danger. Murba has several patrols of guards on the roads around the city, trying to watch out for or to watch for raiders without being ambushed and killed. They approach to speak with you, but they take no notice of your rank. They urge you to go to safety inside the city, which is probably the reason why it's full of spies and rebels. It's because they just they they just tell people to go go on in, go on in, without taking any notice of who the heck I am. <laughs> That's literally what happened. Oh boy, this is not our fort though. Uh, we have people going. Uh, probably, probably more guards. There is a band of Vol warriors stalking you. They track your movements, watching you closely. They aren't soldiers. They are. Uh, they are an armed band, dirty and sweaty, from weeks out in these wastes. Why are they not soldiers? They sound like soldiers. They are armed. They are a band. They are dirty and sweaty for weeks in the wastes. I'm gonna approach them. When you walk towards them, they move away. They can move much more quickly through these wastes than you can. Oh, the wastes. The wastes. Uh, I'm going to shout at them. When you call out to them, they have a brief discussion. Which is uh, hilarious to think of as a what just happened, but yes. Several of them seem to want to talk to you. Whatever they have heard about you, they approve. Yet they stay in the distance. I'm going to try to leave. You walk off. They head quickly to the south. They must be planning to make a report. I, I'm sure. I'm sure they are. What are these statues? Oh, and that's where they went. Okay, let's not go there. Let's also look at the map again. So we got Murbo over there. I would say our castle. Well, I can't tell because that's our castle over there. Uh, Vitas is the city. Marva is the city, and that's just a dungeon. So we're going to go over here to the west. Let's not go to uh, Marva. Marva is the unpleasant mining town. I need to go to Vitasa first, because that's, you know, where we're supposed to go. That's where they told us to go, anyway. There's a lot of these statues, or whatever they are. More, ho more houses over here. Vitas is ringed by humble farms, working the Vol's narrow strips of 
arable land. There is a war on the free men and Owen working here are just trying to stay out of the way and safe. Avoiding strangers is a key survival strategy. They take pains to avoid you. I, I'm assuming probably it would be a, a key survival strategy. Avoiding strangers. There is a patrol of soldiers, uh, oh, these ones are not weird. Uh, a patrol of soldiers watching the lens around Vitassa. They have uniforms of the Vol. They are loyalist soldiers. They are very alert and very nervous. When they see who you are, they approach and speak with you, relieved that you aren't going to kill them. Who, who told them that? Greetings to you, I'm gonna say. Greetings, Envoy. Please be careful on these roads. There are raiders and brigands everywhere. We want you to stay safe. We want no trouble with Haven. Uh, anything nearby of interest? The city of Vitassa, the most lovely city in the Vol. We wish we were inside its walls now. Good day. Good day. Stay safe. And they march on. And these are civilians, I would assume, because they don't actually say anything. They're just doing their thing. So let's just explore a little bit more. That's where we got in from. And the fact that I'm gaining money every week, or every two days, rather, means that I can just take as long as I want, teleport wherever I want, and do all the exploration without a care in the world. Hiccups. I do have the hiccups, though. That's just how it is. <laughs> there are docks northwest of Vitassa. They're pretty humble. The nations of Sacramentum do trade with each other, but not much and mainly by sea. Merchants and soldiers bustle around, dickering and hauling goods. You pass without comment. Strangers are common here. Yeah, everybody is a stranger. They're super common. Also, that's... I suppose that's to the northwest. The docks themselves are to the north, but whatever. It's fine. Let's not pick on the uh, cardinal directions. It's, uh, actually, northwest wouldn't be a cardinal direction. That would be the other one. I don't know the name of those, though. But this is our fort. You are close to the ruins of Fort West Bay, one of Haven's seven outposts on Sacramentum. Though it was abandoned decades, decades ago during the Calamity, it is very well preserved. The stone buildings sat undamaged in the dry weather, a good sweeping, and they'll be ready for your forces to move in. And Haven is ready for it. South of the fort, you see a huge camp of people. General Aquila has been sneaking workers and supplies into Vol lands. A lot of them. Many in the Vol want Haven to return. They are camped to the south of the empty fort, now waiting for your orders. It's good that they didn't take the stones from the fort to make their own houses, because that's probably what they should have done. I don't know if I commented on that when they said... Uh, when I was talking about over here about the, these houses that they are a practical people uh, They said something they are a practical people and immediately said that they had abandoned this place um, Which is not what practical people do because what practical people do is if they don't want to leave there Because apparently that I think that's the implication is that they were practical and they were like, you know It's not practical to leave here. Let's leave elsewhere But what practical people do they use the stone to do their stuff and that's why a lot of medieval castles in Europe uh, disappeared because they just used the stones for for other things. That's just how it is. and Not just castles, but walls and all that sort of stuff. Because, um, you know, stone, worked stone is very hard to get. Uh, you pro and so if you have a ruin, oh, I'm just going to make a house out of that stone right there. You approach a band of workers, some haven and some vol, who are camped outside Fort West Bay. They are waiting for the order to begin work. They tell you to go to the middle camp and talk to Chief Ger Chief Gervin. The middle camp, I suppose, is this one. You approach this camp, there are a bunch of Haven workers sitting by the fire, fanning themselves to keep cool. Hmm. One old man rises, approaches you, and kneels. He says, I'm Chief Gervin. General Aquila sent us out here. We're ready to work. We can reclaim Fort West Bay now. We just need the order. How did you get here? We just traveled. The Vol's soldiers ignored us. I suspect the general already made a deal with Vitassa. Not my business, of course. What will the Vol think of us rebuilding this fort? I think they will welcome it. The Mashas want us to win their war for them and make them all rich. Eh, I'm just following my orders anyway. Uh, I give the order. No, well, actually don't do anything yet. All right, Prince, our orders are to stay here. We will wait. Yeah, I want to go in there. If I can, which I don't seem to be able to. So, hey. Uh, I get to work. 
Gervin turns and says, You heard the prince. Get to work. The sweaty, dusty soldiers and craftsfolk rise to their feet. Then they stroll into the ruins of Fort West Bay. You can now collect resources from mines you control in this region. You can now recruit Vol characters in your forts. They have new special abilities to recruit, uh, or they just have that. I know how to recruit the characters. Thank you, and let's go on in. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful indeed. Where is our production? Our production is bad. I swear it is. Uh, the apothecary, we're just going to build many apothecaries. I mean, I don't really need it. Current upkeep, current earnings. Wait, we're earning another one? That's fantastic. We're gaining more iron than we were before. I don't know why. I suppose uh, because this just has a flat bonus, maybe? What is that? No, we can change the name. <laughs> we can change the name of the place. Uh, good, 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 good. So, Anna, uh, Havenite, Achriel, and uh, we're going to create a character. And uh, that's going to be a Vol soldier. Uh, the name of the soldier is going to be... Uh, Mario. Let's go with that. Uh, that's that's skin, not body. But uh, but let's go with uh, things. Oh, he smiles so much. I am. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Mm. I like the. Oh, that's not. I like that smirk. Oh, there's more. I thought there were only a few. Cause it loops. No, we're good. We're good. Let's go with the smirk. Yeah. Hairstyle, what do we have? Big shaggy hair. That's the... Uh, that. No, that's my hair. I'll confuse everybody, everything. Let's go with this one over here. Hair color, no, let's keep it that. Extra details. A beautiful mustache. There's a scar and whatnot. Anyway, uh, Mario is here. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see what he's like. Uh, how do I do this? Do I just move you up and down? Party roster. Oh, I remove you from party. Of course. Uh, Terrence. Uh, I'll, I'll not do anything with you right now. Let me just save because I don't actually know what happens. Uh, Mario is now with us. And uh, he levels up. Let's go ahead and do that. Cultural. What do we have? Spell shield. Provides a spell shield to gain an, uh, to an ally for three turns. Hmm. Evasion Charm. Provides Evasion Charm to an ally for three turns. Passive Ability. Always active. Gives 5% chance for all allies within four spaces to evade magical and physical attacks. That's pretty amazing. That is pretty great. I like it a lot. So he's going to be a fighter, basically. There we go. Uh, okay, so now you have... You don't come with anything. That's fine. I can give you these. It's basically the same setup. Although you might not be able to use some of them. It's good. Uh, okay, so let's do that. Let's remove you from the party. Uh, was it Patricia? No, that was Anna. Terence. There we go. So, Mario goes up. Please. Nope. Uh, did it work? There it is. Okay. We have a new team member. Of course, we're going to need to level him up. And we are. But we're going to need to do that next episode because we're out of time for the day. So, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been Queen's Wish. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.